So we begin. Uh, we begin by making a model of Jeremy Corbyn the best we can, and we'll do that with Make Human and some reference photos, and then probably edit it quite a lot in Blender. I'm hoping to do this as quick as possible, and I don't care if it's very, very, very sloppy, because this is just something that shouldn't be spent any time on, really. It's like a weekend is the most. So we find some reference photos, import them into Make Human, line them up with his head, and then adjust all the Make Human controls until it more or less fits his face. Add some clothes. Okay, that should be the uh, Make Human model for Corbin exported. Now I'm going to take him into Blender and give him his beard and his hair is the main important thing. Sort out what I've done with his clothes. The fact that he's currently got two jackets isn't a mistake. I intend to delete one of them and the tie and stuff. So, uh, yeah, into Blender. Blender, open up the Make Human file, and there he is. Weird looking skin. I don't know in what world that's supposed to be skin. So we place the skin with a more plain thing, and then we work on the hair and the beard. Paint which areas of the mesh will need to grow hair. Add a hair object, and then comb it into place. Just his eye colours. And then we add in the sound. Then we use the make the uh, quick talk plugin that I wrote to arrange the beginning of each word across the sound line. First level is just the first word of every line, and then we have to do each individual word as we go. This takes quite a while. This is feeling so much more efficient than when I used to do this stuff in Papageo. Uh, even if it doesn't do as good a job, I still would prefer it because my main thing is rush. Because there's only me and I've got to do it all. So I like that. I'm approving of my own plugin. You should use Quick Talk. However, it still takes a long time. Lining up every single word with the right place on the wire frame there, the uh, timeline. It still takes forever, even when you know you're doing it really, really fast compared to all the other ways you've ever done it before. It still takes forever. God damn, I need to write some code to analyze the waveform or something. This is so annoying. Of course, they never will, because that's far too hard. Still, a bit more of this lining up the words. Wow, is that it? Is that literally like two hours for the first draft pass of it? single shot on the face. Let's find out. hope so, because that can bodes well. I'm probably going to spend all weekend on this now. Because that's what you do to criticise someone for spending being obsessively obsessed with something. Is you spend the entire weekend building something to show them. Oh yeah. So we watch it through. You see, there's an obvious problem here inside his mouth. If we look at that, 
in the render itself weirdness with, with the wrong pixels being in his gums but if this takes more than a weekend I'm going to kill myself so I don't care and thus his little weird little vampire teeth will stay Stretch out some of the words where they've been placed wrong. Because especially with singing, he can often hold the word or cut it short. And Quick Talk's first guess won't be accurate in those cases. So that's the lip sync done, as close as I'm going to bother to do it, frankly. Uh, I possibly even spent too much time over that. Next up. Uh, doing some dance moves or some general camera angles I think dance moves are the things that's likely to be more reusable so I'll give him some dance moves uh, I suppose ideally we can look at the pace of the song underneath to give it the rhythm of his dance he'll be a good dancer if we do that and it takes about 20 frames for a whole dance move which is a nice easy number to deal with so let's give him his first little dance wobbling his bum around and his hands Extend that dance on for infinity. Make sure we're able to remove his clothes because we'll be able to we'll need to remove his clothes later. So now I have the basics of dancing Corbin mouthing the words to the song as it plays. Uh, getting naked at the time in the song when he's supposed to get naked and I think to go any further I need to actually think about how I'm going to script it um, so I'm going to have a short break I'm even going to call this the end of session one no, no I'm not going to do that so it'll be a lie I'm just doing that later I'm having a break so what I'm going to do is write I'm going to take the script and write some kind of shooting script on top of it. You're welcome to watch, but obviously I'll speed it up. So we do some typing. <coughs> Not sure I'm gaining a lot from that as I go along, so we'll just get on with the first bit and see how we go. Suppose. Give up on the idea of writing a script and just make it up as we go along. bit of time on his wobbly bum we make him look up into the camera Generally, lots of keyframes, lots of posing. Hopefully, with the timeline slowly moving forward. Turn towards the camera to move, move now the next word, and that gives us basically the template for the rest. It's going to generally be single line, move the camera, turn to face the camera. Seeing another line. Lots of pointing both at himself and the camera.
Right. First, it's done just some dancing Corbin until he gets to the line, the chorus. Right. There is so much destruction all over the world. That bit needs something special. More special than I've got so far. I think that bit needs an actual globe, ideally with a nuclear explosion. Spooky explosion, that's too harsh. I expect I probably ought to go to bed and do that tomorrow. But nevertheless, we'll see where we get to it with it tonight, anyway. Oh, what, half past midnight? Half past midnight is far too early today. Let's go and get a world. the world, moving his arms around over the top of it, again more keyframing, then the next pose, and more keyframing, have a look for some explosions, Explosion is too hard for now. If we do explosion at all, we'll figure it out later. For now, we're just going to carry on. Explosion is too hard. I thought it would be. Singing, more moving his arms, more turning to the camera, pointing. And then laughing, naked on a go. It is after all 24 in the morning, so I'll head off to bed and carry on momentarily for you. Which will be any second now. Here we go. We've only got a thousand one hundred frames rendered. Last time. The background for the space in the background. Don't be NASA stars. NASA images are always free to use, so they're very helpful. Just some of the dancing moves that weren't good enough last night. Generally go through, fix a few of the things that, in the light of sobriety in the morning, weren't quite good enough. Crucial scene, the 
new drawn very surprised. So it's important to get it right, including his little thrust at the end. Right, well, small fat child in a welfare house is just gagging for a baby with a beard gag, isn't it? Which is annoying, because that's going to take longer than I'd hoped. Yeah, it'd be easy. Still, the art demands it, eh? Reduce his age, give him different clothes, export him again. And give him a new beard. Test of the baby. Make him a bit fatter than make human would let him. Adjust his hot pants to look a bit more like nappy. We can just use the same imported lip sync as we already had for the existing character, so that they'll sing along with each other together. A lot of my bones have lost their shape at this point. They fix themselves magically later. So here we pose the baby animating, bring in the other Corbin. So they dance together. wobble their bums at the same time. They'll sing along during the instrumental. Pose editing for him to sing the last little bit and finally have him crouch down to a low camera, getting real close and creepy. Before just spinning insanely at the end. Revision on how to get a camera to follow a path if you want that path to repeat. Uh, it turns out animating its offset property is the way to go. Watch it through. And start the render. So there we go. We have a basic dance routine. Corbin is dancing and singing a song with his little kiddie self, which is uh, funny, I think. So, there's still lots to do. We have to collect all the headlines from the newspapers and get the newspapers flapping about in the background and stuff. Oh, uh, well, we'll make it up as we go along as usual. But it will not be in this session, it will be in the next after I've had some dinner. Okay, lovely lunch. I think the first thing to do is to watch it through. Just a quick open GL render. Just show you be watching it for the first time. Get my reaction shots.
Like you seem to be reasonably pleased with it. Baby. those problems and then go in search of newspaper front pages essentially. Didn't take long to fix those problems and then on to looking at the headlines. Save a whole bunch of them and then create a new object for a flat paper. create a new one for each of the different pictures we just saved. For some reason Blender's choosing to show me only the same one over and over again, but it knows they're really different. So then we animate the papers moving into and out of shot, spinning around randomly. what the newspaper is going to look like inside the blender system because it won't do a full render it'll just do a fast rush render in the editor but we don't need to be able to read it just move it into shot and move it out of shot again arrange them around the edge ready for the final spin Do a bit of testing, make sure that these papers aren't flipped backwards where they need or shouldn't be. Experiment with a few different ways of doing the sky because it wasn't moving with the camera the way I wanted it to. Let's 
just a question of going through it and spotting the errors and fixing them. Tidy up his beard a little bit there. Have some attempt at hiding his mouth mistakes, but only a half-hearted one. Lots of test renders here along the whole timeline, checking that the, everything works nicely. And we add some credits in, titles. Well, I think it might be done. Like 24 hours earlier than I expected, so that's nice. Probably isn't done. Nah. I expect there'll be issues. They need to be fixed. But I don't know about them till it's rendered, and so I'm going to render it now. And that'll take a couple of days. Okay, so it's been rendered, and it looks alright, but I have a list of the issues that I want to fix. And then we render just those frames that are fixed. It must be lighting, really. Nice and nice and nice and nice and long reach people at one point. So, fix all those things. Start with the lighting on the titles, which were far too dark in the first test. Make his dance at the beginning a bit better, because it was too monotonous at the first test. Few of these scenes were moving the lights around because in the first render the lighting just threw shadows in all the wrong places, blacking out his face, making his eyes invisible, that sort of thing. And once all they're done, Okay, I think that's it. Those are my final few things fixed. So I'll render that out and then we'll see if it is actually fixed. And it was, so that was the end.